what's up YouTube so today uh, we're hitting arms I know I said my split before was more like a push pull legs but I thought about just switching up so I could get a shorter workout in on Sunday because I also had a roll so normally I wouldn't even like uh, lift weights Sunday I just get straight into like uh, MMA or Jiu Jitsu just grappling stuff so uh, we're switching up the split a little bit today. Today we'll hit uh, we'll hit arms. Tomorrow we'll hit chest, chest and shoulders. So a little bit more focus and emphasis on emphasis on the different body parts for those days. And then we'll hit legs, and that will finish the split. We'll probably go back to push pull legs. Some kids waving at me. That's pressing. Anyways, um. We're at a pre-workout. I think we're going back into town and getting some later today. But for now, it, my go-to energy drink, if I don't have my pre-workout, is the Rain uh, Orange Dream Circle. This is definitely the best tasting one that they have. And, I mean, it's got caffeine, right? So that's all we really need. But a little bit of a hard crack there. Let's go ahead and get into this arm day. So to start out, we'll be using these dumbbells, and we have a lighter set right behind us. These are 55s, and we'll go into 25s for hammer curls. Don't be surprised, especially as I get towards like the end of my set with the 55s, if they look extremely sloppy. That's why it's a drop set. I want to go really damn heavy for the first part, and then the drop set will be more like slow controls, really good contraction in the rest of the drop set after this. Focus on moving some mass, getting the biceps pretty exhausted with those hammer curls, and then hitting the drop set of hammer curls with that. Just to just to torch off the biceps there uh very end there. So we'll do this for about uh three sets. Three sets. And after that, we'll move on to uh, single arm dumbbell preacher curls with a drop set. We'll do that uh, two sets each arm. And then probably some sort of like low, low cable curl. They call them drag curls as well, I'm pretty sure. So we'll do another two sets of that. We'll also do a drop set. We'll probably do it for biceps. And then we can move on to triceps. So let's get started with these.
Uh. <laughs> Next, what that was talking about, we got 45, 25. I'm going to do these single arm creature kills. I like this movement a lot. You really got to think about almost setting your uh, armpit into the bench and then going through the movement, driving your elbow into the bench, I feel like that helps use your lats to stabilize the rest of your body and more stability equals a better contraction throughout the movement. So engaging, dropping your elbow into it is really going to help keep everything pretty stable and allow you to get a really clean curl out of this. So let's do two of these sets. That's kind of how you bail too, you just take your elbow off it as soon as you can't get any more reps, even after your partials. Ah. Drop set.
Honor! The, uh, the cables that I normally use to those like low bilateral drag curls or low cable curls uh, they're being used right now so for uh, our two sets I'm gonna do uh, incline curls instead kind of the same movement just without the cables still trying to force your elbows back and maybe externally rotate your elbows just a little bit because apparently that's going to hit the uh, long head of your bicep a little bit more. Help grow that length. Look really good in the crucifix pose. So uh, we'll hit two sets of this and then move on to arms. And then after arms, maybe, maybe a little bit of a boxing montage. We'll see. I don't know about that. Maybe we'll do the, stair, the stairs instead because my elbows are feeling awfully crunchy. So I don't know if I can throw that cross super effectively. Especially this one. This one's like super, it's super crunchy. And it's just, it's just not, uh, it's just not my favorite thing right now. But we'll still get through this workout. Triceps might be a little bit tough, but they're loosening up from biceps pretty well. So let's go ahead and get into these uh, incline curls. Drop set. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm exhausted. Let's move on to triceps. The first move for triceps are going to be these uh, wide grip. And then my elbows flared out. We're just going to do some push downs. I got a stack and a 45 on right now. There won't be any drop sets with this. And we'll probably just do about three. But I feel like this movement, it's not that much range of motion. But I feel like this movement translates really well over to like bench press strength. So if you're trying to grow your brent, uh, your bench, excuse me, and you're training triceps, these are a pretty good exercise. Because you think about it, you're laying flat. Imagine I'm laying flat. The bench is here to here. While you may have your hands positioned a little bit wider than that, this is essentially just here to here. Kind of the same thing. And I like to go a little bit more narrow grip whenever I go on the bench press, so... Whenever I bench press, I use a lot of tricep activation, so these are fantastic for uh, for bench press, I feel like. So we'll do three sets of these, no drop set. So next we're moving on to these uh, rope pull downs. The difference with these and the other ones is the rope and then the angle of my elbows. Instead of being out here, I'm going to bring it in and it's going to work a little bit more of that uh, long head, I'm pretty sure, or the outermost part of your bicep. I forgot what they're called, but tricep, three heads. The more you move your elbows in, I'm pretty sure the more it works the outside of your tricep. No, it's either the inside or the outside. That's why I do at least three different tricep movements every time I train them. And I start with my elbows out here and I slowly work them in. Maybe I do some stuff at a 45 with these ropes. I'm gonna try to keep my elbows close to my body. So let's do, let's do two to three sets of this. And we'll also do a drop set.
Ну. Lastly, for uh, triceps, we have the rope on here, and we're going to do some overhead extensions. These, I'm going to try and position my arms at that 45 degree angle, and this is going to kind of be a good balance of working all three heads. So, whenever you train triceps, just don't do something that's only going to really target one head. I mean, regardless, if you're in the gym, you're training to failure, and doing any sort of tricep movements, your whole trice, entire triceps going to grow. This is only probably about, what, 5, 10% of it as the technique and a little bit of knowledge that I can try and provide you guys to uh, work all three heads of the triceps optimally, so to speak. So, triceps are feeling really dang good. I think I'm going to hit three of these, and they're going to be drop sets as well, so... Let's go ahead and get into it. Wait, you have you. Looks like I'm exposed now.
<laughs> so it uh, seems like there's a spin class that is being set up in here sometime soon, so we're going to hit a quick pose down before they actually get in here. First of all, can we get some love and appreciation for the uh, Rick and Morty cutoff that I uh, made myself? And I actually cut this one pretty well, but I don't know. I think it's pretty sweet. So today was an extremely sex successful arm day, I'd say. My arms are like, this is one of like the nastiest arm pumps I personally feel like I've had in a while. I just feel full, man. I don't know. I think it's probably because I'm hydrated compared to yesterday. Yesterday I was like looking pretty shredded. Today, back on my uh, creatine, feeling pretty full. But uh, let's run, run down a few poses. So let's start with uh, side tricep on both sides. Scoot forward just a little bit. All right. The other side. All right. Uh, let's hit a side chest for the bicep pump. Other side. Not very good at this side, but we'll see. Okay, front double by. Back double by. Uh, what else? Side chest on each side, front double by, back double by, side tricep on each side. Now let's start getting a little fancy with it. Crucifix. Some others, I forgot the name of them, but we just hit them. I honestly think that's it. I'm thinking a little too much outside the box, trying to get some different poses done. All right, thank you guys for, uh, for watching. I'm pretty sure this is going to conclude today's YouTube video. You're going to see some form of cardio after this. It's probably going to be boxing. Maybe. Okay, I made my mind up. It's going to be boxing. If it starts to hurt, we'll stop and then maybe just finish out on the Stairmaster if we have to. But uh, thank you if you've made it this far once again. Like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Anything helps at this point, so... You know, take your vitamins, stay hydrated. Thank you guys. I will see you tomorrow for chest and shoulders. All right, later. I guess you guys kind of could say that I lied to you a little bit because now I totally forgot I'm going back out to the field.
I won't be ripping today. So I can supply you guys with a little bit of tractor thoughts and whatever. Just kind of show you the operation. So yeah, the workout portions is it's, it's done now. If you'd like to click off, feel free to. But if you're interested in any farming content, that will be coming very soon. So go ahead and cut to me in the uh, tractor with the ripper. The shed. We're grabbing death right now. Look who I found. It's a little crazy cat. So we'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get out of here and run us back to a field. Okay, so currently we are uh, in the tractor and we're working some ground. It's looking pretty good. Uh, it's like 8.30. But it's just kind of kind of part of farming. When you get out here, you have to realize that you're here for like long periods of time. And I'm thankful that like right now, even though I don't have like a consistent schedule, my dad still works with me well enough where he's like, you can go get a workout in and then come back here because we have enough people on the crew where we can like actually get stuff done still. But, oh, excuse me. Well, that's coming to an end because I got grandparents. They're getting pretty old, right? So they're gonna need to, uh, you know, just kind of settle down someday, especially once I, uh, I get out of college, my brother gets out of college, and we should be good, right? Like maybe hire one more person. I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, if I got any tractor thoughts for you, I'll provide them, but kind of just some empty thoughts right now. But overall, recap of the day, solid arm pump, solid tricep pump. And arms might be the simplest type of uh, workout ever. So like, it's just a bunch of different curls and a dumb bunch of different pushdowns. Like I, we did the overhead extensions, but that's just pushdowns upside down, right? Like it's still working your triceps reason they're so simple is you compare it to something like back, you have multiple different attachments, multiple different widths, arm angles, whatever. For biceps, oh uh, sure, I'll just prop my bicep on a bench and it's hitting it differently than it normally would. Or I'll turn my wrist like this, it's hitting it different than it normally would. So, bicep day is relatively simple, but I think there's some, uh, there's some beauty in that. There's some beauty in the simplicity of bicep day. So right now, we're in the uh, RX-9, the 5900, and we have... Okay, don't hate me. It's a red implement on the back. So for everybody who already understands, we yeah, we did it. We did the big no-no. We got green tractor, red implement. So, we're mostly green. We're mostly green. We're doing the right thing. So if you are uh, if you guys are watching and your family farms or you're a farmer yourself and you're red, I pray for you. That's it. That's all I'll say. Debate me in the comments. But that's pretty much it for tonight. I don't have much else to say. Just kind of, just trying to relax in here. What I like to do a lot when I'm in the tractor is I like to turn on a podcast or just listen to some tunes or maybe if it's super low key like this even, I'll turn on some TikToks. And just scroll through there mindlessly for a while. But uh, yeah, that's just about it. There's a waterway back there. So go through there and to raise up through that but I timed that thing just about perfectly hopefully I can keep that uh that streak up but yeah today arm super successful I'm, I'm not necessarily loving the change in split for the like one week but at least it's something different it's something out of the out of the ordinary 
Because Arnold would say it's good because it's going to shock the muscle, but I don't know too much about that. But who knows? Maybe I should start rotating more often. You know what? I think I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'm pretty satisfied with this video. It should be a decent amount of time. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your days, nights, afternoons, whatever, whenever you're watching this. Thank you guys once again. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow should be filmed at our college rec center, possibly. It's going to be chest and uh, shoulders. I might have some friends or friend or some friends join me for this lift, so we'll see how that goes. I haven't, I haven't ever filmed in the rec center, so this could be a little sketch. Probably a lot of people staring at me. Probably going to be pretty loud, so whatever. I guess it's part of it now. Tomorrow, chest shoulders sides rear delts so side delts and front delts we'll do a little bit of that stuff predominantly chest we're gonna go really hard on the chest but uh there should be some farming content tomorrow as well until then love all you guys take your vitamins stay hydrated i'll see you tomorrow